A financial firm with ties to Fishers allegedly engaged in a Ponzi scheme and defrauded investors out of millions. That's according to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny broke the story and joins us now with how clients of Drive Planning LLC are reacting. Drive Planning announced two months ago they'd be expanding and building a $3.1 million office complex here on this land in Fishers. But as you can see, not much work has been done. And now the future of the entire company is in question because of this lawsuit. I like what I heard. Uh, everything sounded great. And, you know, if, if I was going to get a 10% return every 90 days, that sounds, sounds great to me. Patrick and Laura McLaughlin of Noblesville thought they were investing in their future. With the hope of potentially retiring a little bit early. <laughs> Instead, they've likely lost $250,000. It is still shocking, but we, we kind of felt like something was going on. The SEC says the McLaughlins are two of 2,000 investors who trusted their money with Drive Planning LLC, only to become victims of a $300 million real estate Ponzi scheme. A lawsuit filed Tuesday alleges CEO Russell Todd Burkhalter stole investor funds to fund a life of luxury, including buying a $3.1 million yacht. Are you wondering what happened to your money? Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 We're not really sure what happened to it other than the fact that it sounds like he lived a, a lavish lifestyle. Drive Planning has offices in Georgia, Florida, and in Fishers at this office complex. We called. We emailed got no response, so we stopped by. Here's their office. We're going to see if anybody's in there. There's dust inside, but nobody's here. There's cables. It looks like files, pens, things like that. So it looks like people have been working here recently, but there's nobody here now. We also stopped by the site of Drive Planning's new office space on 116th Street, but no one was there either. Renderings show they planned a $3 million project for the high traffic location. As part of the Fed's action, the company's assets are now frozen. Do you think you'll ever see your money back? If we could get it all back, that'd be fantastic, but I, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath on that. So. This action by the SEC is civil. No criminal charges have been filed. In Fisher's Care Kenny, WRTV. And we did just hear back from the CEO's attorney who tells us Mr. Burkhalter denies the allegations contained in the SEC's complaint and looks forward to quickly resolving this matter. The SEC tells us investors should be vigilant when they encounter aggressive sellers who make over-the-top sales pitches and promise high rates of guaranteed returns.